Hey everybody, in today's video, I just want to do a little get ready with me. I have a bachelorette party tonight, we're just doing a nice dinner, and I just wanted to get nice and dressed up. I figured today would be a good time to film a little get ready with me so I can chat with you about what's been going on and just show you a nice kind of night out makeup look. I'm going to start with the foundation today. I'm going to use the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation. I just feel like this foundation matches me so well right now. That's the main reason I want to use it, because I want something that's going to match my skin the best. I also do really love it though. I think that the coverage is really nice, it blends out super easy, and it has a great finish. It lasts really well, it looks really healthy on the skin. Tonight is a bachelorette party for, let's see, Zach's cousin's fiance. <laughs> to be honest, I don't even really like know her that well, and my sister-in-law was supposed to come, but she has work tonight, so I feel like I'm not going to know anybody. I'm taking the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer for my concealer today. Again, this is a nice coverage and a good kind of color for my skin tone right now. And I'll also use that to just kind of spot conceal a little bit more. So yes, they are getting married tomorrow. It's exciting. It should be really fun. But tonight, I just want to... I want to look nice and put together because it's a good excuse to get dressed up, of course. I don't know anybody, like I said, so I feel like I want to look, you know, nice, but not like over overdone. So we're going to do just like a nice kind of light brown, neutral, smoky eye, just like all mattes. And then a nude lip, of course. We're going to teppanyaki for dinner and I have never been to a place like this, so I'm really excited. And then she rented a hotel room. I'm not staying the night, but I'm going to go like hang out and have dessert and stuff. It should be fun. Then I'm taking my Glossier Wouter and just setting underneath the eyes with that. And today I'm actually going to take a larger brush. I'm just lightly going to set the rest of my skin. I just feel like this is the best way to keep my makeup on all day since I'm getting ready a little bit early and it is super hot. I just want it to last. I want to move to the eyes now just because that will kind of help determine what direction I want to go with my face products, like my blush and everything. So I'm going to go into this LA Girl Hot, I don't know, Hot Hot Heat? Hot Hot Heat? I don't know what this says. Eyeshadow palette. <laughs> I got this a while ago and I've used it a few times and it's actually really pretty. I've never tried anything from LA Girl except for their concealer and then the lip liners that I love. So I was like, oh, this might be kind of fun. It's a cute little palette and it's nice big pans some pretty glitters and lots of nice mattes i really like it like i said i've only used it a couple times but i think if i remember right it was like a really really good price too like probably less than like eight bucks and i think the shades are really pretty okay so let's start what i'm gonna do i'm jumping all over the place right now instead of dipping straight into the eyeshadow palette i am gonna take my bronzer that we're gonna use on the skin and i'm gonna use this as a transition shade just to give us kind of an outline for how high up we want those deeper brown shades to go. So I'm just starting this kind of in the crease, taking that all over. The bachelorette party had a lot of festivities. Like a lot of girls are staying the night, but where I didn't know anybody, I didn't really want to do that. Plus, I don't know, I just feel like that's always more work than it is fun to like not be in your house. And it's just here in town, so it's not like you know, it gets me closer to my destination or anything. And I'm taking that same shade under the eye as well. But they also went and did a, like, a little pole dancing class earlier. And that's been something that I've, like, always wanted to do. It just seems so cool and so fun. But it was just going to be a lot of hours with a lot of people that I don't know. So I was kind of like, maybe I'll just do dinner. Okay, now dipping into this palette, I'm just going to take this mid-tone brown shade right here and kind of go over that same shade a little bit lower. If I ever have any like good friends get married or my sister-in-law was talking about it, like when she gets married, she wants to do that. It'd be really fun to go and do a pole dancing class with some people that I like, you know, I'm close to. I just don't want to spend like all day with people that I don't know, you know? Like I want to be supportive and be there. But I don't even know her that well, so. Anyway, okay. <laughs> Then I'm dipping into this dark brown here, and I'm going to start just, wow, that was a lot of color. Okay, just start pouting this on the lid. Cute. 
and so Zach is about to start school and I just have a feeling that I'm going to be so bored with him working and going to class and I work but I haven't been that busy lately and it's killing me because I'm so bored and when I'm not at work it makes me like not want to go even more which is so sad because I love what I do it's just the fact that I'm not busy makes it like why what's the point you know so I'm sad for him to start at school I feel like I'm gonna be so bored going back into this shade right here going over the edges of that dark brown I just feel like I have just been watching a lot of TV which I don't do that much and I've been making a bunch of crafts <laughs> I feel like if I can do some sort of craft, then I can justify sitting on the couch and watching TV like all night. Plus, it kind of takes my mind off of things. It just makes me feel more productive and gives me something to do so that I don't worry about, you know, how I'm not really like super busy right now at work or things like that. Oh, I really like this. Oh, I completely forgot about the lower lash line. Okay, then we're going to take this little flat definer brush and take that dark brown and go, I'm just gonna go about halfway in on the lower lash line, cause I don't want this to be too smoky. Just need enough to like tie in the upper and lower lash lines. Then with a pencil brush, we'll take in this mid-tone shade again and just kind of buff out the edges all the way from inner to outer corner. What TV shows have you guys been into lately? Cause I just need new things to watch. I've started a lot of shows and haven't really liked them. The one that I have been watching most, sorry I know this is like the most unattractive thing to do, but the one that I've been watching most, which I'm sad that I've gotten so hooked on it, is Handmaid's Tale because it is hard to watch. So it's it's mature content, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, so they use a lot of, you know, harsh language. There's a lot of like abuse and things like that in it, and it is intense. But at this point, I'm like too hooked into the show to like not watch it anymore. I just have to keep watching it because it just, it makes me so mad that I need there to be some closure at the end. Is anyone watching it? I'm not caught up. I'm only on season two because I just started watching it like this week. I've blazed through the first half of the show so far because it's so good. So that's the only thing I've been watching and everything else I kind of hate. So if you guys have any good show recommendations, I have so much time on my hands that I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> The only other thing I'm going to do as far as eyeshadow right now is take my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter and I'm going to just highlight the inner corner. I really like where we're at. Even though it's really simple, I just like that it's blended. It's giving me a little bit of drama, but it's nothing too over the top. My problem with a lot of shows is I just get sucked in like so easily. So like this Handmaid's Tale, like I swear to you last night at 2 in the morning I woke up because I had to pee and then I laid back down to go to bed and I just couldn't stop thinking about the stupid show. So it took me forever to fall asleep because I was just thinking about all the possibilities. Like where is this going? Like how's it going to end? Like what could possibly happen? I don't know. So I get way too sucked in but I don't even care. I love it. I'm gonna start my brows now and I'm gonna go in with this boy brow brow gel. This one is tinted. So I'm gonna use this just to give me a little bit of like a base color. That way I don't have to go in with as much of my brow flick. It's just so much quicker this way because they get filled in so much faster. That looks so funny with them all fluffed up but then you can see all the little gaps. Okay, so then going into the brow flick, I'm gonna start with this. Just really lightly work on getting some pigment in there. This is the kind of product that most days I end up really liking, but then there's days where I just feel like my brows don't look that good. So I have a really hard time with it because I think like if you already have really naturally full brows and just a couple like tiny little sparse areas, you'd probably really like this, but if you have a lot of filling in to do, it might be a little tough. And if you already have a hard time like shaping your brows by yourself, I feel like this is a tough product to do that with. So I don't know. I, I do like the look. I like the effect. I just feel like sometimes it works better than others, if that makes sense. And I know that's user error, but it's a little tough to use so i don't know i'd be curious to hear like does anyone else have this like or other products like this like what do you think about it no i'm just putting on a little bit of my thrive cosmetics liquid lash extension mascara this is another one too that's kind of finicky which i've talked about this plenty of times already so you already know but i do really like it got a little on my eyelid of course 
What else has been going on? Oh, you know what? Oh my gosh. Zach and I's birthdays are really pretty close together. We have birthdays that are about 10 days apart. And so we usually kind of celebrate together. But this year, our birthdays haven't come yet, but Zach already gave me my birthday present and it was so incredibly sweet and over the top and wonderful. And I feel so bad because every single year, well, okay, let me start bronzing my skin first. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Thrive Sun Chaser Bronzer in Raya. I get so mad though, because every single year, he is just so sweet on my birthday and I want to do some nice things for him and I come up with ideas and then literally something always gets in the way. So it's just sad, like he is always just spoiling me and I just wanna do something nice for him. So this year I was like, this has to work out because he is too sweet and got me the sweetest gift. So I am gonna make this work. This is gonna sound so silly. I am renting him a petting zoo at my sister's house in the backyard. So it's gonna be a surprise. I'm just gonna invite a few of his like closer friends and then it'll be like my sister's family with her kids, me and my sister-in-law and yeah. But he just loves animals and I really don't think he'll see it coming. I think it'd be really funny. My sister actually came up with the idea because I was like, I feel so bad. Like he gives me the best gifts and I don't know what to get him ever. And she thought of it. She's like, he loves animals, right? Why don't you rent him a petting zoo? And at first I was like, that's so silly. But when I told his sister about it, she was like, yeah, that's what you should do. So we're doing it and I'm really, really excited. I really feel like I can't decide what color I want for blush. I want something like not too, mm, not too warm tone. Like this might be too much for me today. But I don't want anything too like bright or pink either. Hmm. Should we go in with the True Hero? The Essence Satin Touch Blush in Satin Love. I broke the lid. So I just leave it here on my desk. This is an everyday staple for me and it's like $3. I freaking love it. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So I feel like the petting zoo is gonna be really fun. Um, I don't know, maybe he'll think it's really stupid, but I think it'll be cute. His dream is to like have a zoo one day, basically. Like he just wants to buy a bunch of land and have a farm. And I don't know about that, okay. If he really wants to do that and take care of all the animals and be the one that's in charge, sure. But that sounds like a lot of work. And I like animals, but I just feel like I'm not the best animal mom, probably. I don't know, I've never had one. So to have like a whole farm, yeah, I don't know if our animals would survive. Okay, I'm just quickly taking a closer look in my mirror to see how everything is looking. I'm gonna do just a little touch up on the brows here. Okay, they look okay. I don't know, I feel like I tried too hard now. <laughs> Okay, let me see if there's anything else that I want to kind of adjust. I have this stupid little pimple up here that is just not going to be covered, but my hair will hide that. I'm going to add just a little bit more bronzer. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Let's go ahead and set the face. And then I'll just pat the rest of that in after fanning it off for a minute to make sure everything gets melted in. I'm feeling pretty good. My skin's still a little wet, but it'll dry down in a minute. Just putting on a little lip balm to prep the lips. Okay, and then moving on to lips, I'm going to use the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF of course. And then going in with one of my favorite nude lipsticks for my skin tone is this Maybelline lipstick in 920 Nude Lust. I'll apply it all over and then just sort of tap over everything. I feel like I have to take off some of the product where it is a little bit of a lighter nude. That way um, it's not like showing off my lip lines or anything like that. All right, and I think we're finished. I love how this turned out. This is like such a good look for a night out. If you wanna do something a little bit extra, but nothing, you know, crazy over the top or dramatic or anything like that. It's also a great look to do because you can recreate this with pretty much any of your products that you have at home. I hope that you enjoyed watching this. I feel like I didn't have that much to say, so hopefully it wasn't super boring. But yeah, I really enjoyed this look. I like being able to sit down and talk to you guys a little bit about what's been going on in my life and our plans, things that are coming up. So yeah, I hope that it was fun for you to hang out with me a little bit as well. Leave me a comment down below if you enjoyed and let me know again like what TV shows you're into actually because I really want to know. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye!